Breaking news, guys. Breaking news. So, comedian and actor Kevin Hart is suing YouTuber Tasha K over a recent interview she did with his former assistant, Misha Shakes where they discuss Kevin Hart's private life, including the scandal that he was involved in with the many women that he was sleeping with at the time. And also, they've also discussed other private things, including some other baby that Kevin Hart is having outside of his marriage with Eniko and so much more. Welcome to another episode of Pop Cube Culture. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you never miss any news in pop culture. Tasha K has been teasing us all week about um, her newest um, interview with Kevin Hart's um, ex-assistant. And we saw the snippet. We're not going to play that here. If you want to watch it, go to Tasha K's um, channel. And you will catch it. It's uh, we believe it's what like two to three minutes long video. It's a snippet, so it gives you an idea of, of what to expect in the lengthier version of the interview. Which, if you want to watch the interview itself, you have to go to Tasha K's um, website, which is outside of YouTube. Enough promotion for Tasha K. So. Kevin Hart is suing Tasha K for extortion. What we think has happened is people close to Kevin Hart and his family have seen the video on YouTube and have sent it to, to him and even to Eniko, his wife. And we noticed earlier this week that Eniko has posted something on her Instagram story saying, I don't care. Or I don't give a F or some, some, something in those lines. And in the snippet, you see clearly the ex-assistant talk about her appreciation for Eniko. Because Eniko is just a liability in this case. But we think she knows what she's doing too. She's, she knows she married to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is taking care of her. That's the deal they have in their marriage. He takes care of her. She keeps quiet and she let him be who he is. And we've seen the scandal around Kevin Hart where he would actually, you know, sleep with uh, women in cars and things like that. He got caught. And if, if he hadn't got caught, we wouldn't have known about his dwellings. All this to say, Kevin Hart is suing Tasha K for extortion and defamation. And here's the thing. If he's gonna if he's gonna sue Tasha K for defamation, he has to prove that all that is discussed in the interview is not true. And one of the bombshells that actually came out of the the snippet again is that Kevin Hart may have impregnated some woman who happens to be um, his flight attendant or something along those lines. Listen, guys, we don't know these people. So at the end of the day, Kevin Hart will have to prove that that woman is not pregnant by him to be able to back up his defamation claim. As for the extortion, oftentimes it's very well known in journalism. Oftentimes when you have um, a hot piece, what you do is you let the people know, the people that you are, that the piece is about. You let them know that, hey, this video will be coming out or this information will be coming out. Do you have any comments to make? Observation. And sometimes people would actually pay a pretty penny to not release the, the interview or the, the piece of information. And the price they pay is really for, <laughs> it's for the journalist who found the story, who worked on the story, probably produced it, recorded it, paid like a whole production to to put the story together so as to be able to make up for that. So the uh, extortion that Kevin Hart is mentioning is more like along those lines. And the proper term of that is uh, catch and kill. And it's very well known and people still do it today. So there's nothing, it's not illegal. 
Now, what may be illegal is either the things that were discussed in that interview or will be discussed in that interview, the um, how Tasha Kim may have worded things to Kevin Hart because who is suing in this case? It's not Kevin Hart directly. It's his lawyers. So he's if Tasha K as an individual or YouTuber is dealing with lawyers, obviously Tasha K doesn't know the language of lawyers. So she might maybe have said some things that she wasn't supposed to say. All this to say, Tasha K still owes Cardi B about four million dollars so we don't know how she's gonna deal with this one but we think she knows what she's doing and at the end of the day listen we are going to watch this story up close for you guys and uh we hope um we hope uh, tasha k gets to win this one because if there's any truth to this which we think based off kevin hart's track record there might be some truth in there is everything true of the inter about the interview we don't know. But is Kevin Hart, you know, doing things or doing other people beside Eniko, his wife? Most likely because of his past. Anyways, we'll see how things um, evolve. We, uh, we appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.